Our government was elected on a commitment to investigate the existence of well-funded foreign special interest groups that had been waging a decade-long campaign to landlock Alberta's oil and gas resources. I'm pleased to report that we have officially fulfilled that commitment. I'd like to, th to thank Commissioner Steve Allen for the hard work and due diligence that went into the inquiry and for submitting a comprehensive final report. What the public inquiry report does is to document with a significant level of detail who was involved and what their motives were. I truly believe that sun sunlight is sometimes the best disinfectant and this report does exactly that. It shines a blinding light on the broader movement and the vast amount of foreign funding that is crossing the Canadian border, often untraced. These organizations operated like a business. They applied for and received funding and grants from multi-billion dollar foreign foundations. That foreign funding was used to not only target pipelines and projects, but to influence domestic public policy, legislation, and regulatory processes. That should concern all Canadians. We are not talking about small money here. The amounts involved are profoundly large. Many of these organizations operate as an industry, adapting to emerging markets and trends, and jumping from cause to cause. And that money comes across the border with a lack of transparency and disclosure. The funds are hard to find and difficult to trace. I'm pleased to say that we accept the Commissioner's recommendations. The bottom line is that Alberta's natural resources belong to Albertans and decisions about their development should be made by people of this province. At this time, I'd be happy to take questions.